Hey everyone, welcome. This is Cisco Virtual Kitchen Influencer Fridays, and I am your host, Roger Bodwin. We are speaking with up-and-coming young chefs soon to make their mark on this industry, and they're going to be reviewing products available at Cisco and giving us their impressions of these products. With me today is Ellie Cammy. Hey, welcome to the show. Ellie, how are you? Hi, Roger. I'm doing great. Uh, we're reviewing some products today from Silk. Uh, I have some here, the first one that I have right here is oat milk, which is um, Silk Barista. The other one that I have right here is almond milk. And the last one, we have three products today, is pumpkin spice for coffee. It's also almond milk. So this is, this is what we are reviewing today. Fantastic. Why don't we start by you telling us a little bit about yourself and what your goals are in the future, what you're doing now? So I'm a young chef. I graduated culinary management at Centennial College. I currently work there. I work with all the programs that involve baking and culinary students. And I also teach in the culinary arts. I teach students everything they need to know about food. And then they go into the kitchen and put that to practice. I am a proud member of the Culinary Federation. I have volunteered for them with them for about three years now since I started uh, my education in culinary management. So yeah, that's what I do at the moment. I would love to continue to teach. I love the restaurant world. I have worked in the restaurant for a couple of years. I love the energy. I love producing food. I love those tickets during rush times uh, popping up, uh, nervous and fun and all of those feelings. But um, yeah, I love the education world a lot. Cool under pressure. When the adrenaline's firing, that's when you perform your best. Now, we also understand you're from Albania, right? That's your heritage? I am. That Tell is my heritage. That. that is where I was born and raised. I was born in the north of Albania, and I grew up in um, central Albania. The city is called Tirana. That is the capital of Albania. It's a warm place. The people are amazing. The food is great. Uh, it's fatty. It's uh, healthy at the same time. Everything is freshly taken out of the farmer's stands. Uh, it's funny. This summer, I went back, actually, for a week. I went back to Albania. And from city to city, when you are in Albania, if you are crossing from city to city, every five miles you have uh, farmers out with stands and they have fresh fruit and fresh vegetables. So anything you're going to cook in Albania is going to be fresh. So I grew up around uh, very good food. I'm very lucky. And uh, I also lived in Greece for a while. And it's the same thing. Food is great. People are great. Everything is lively. Uh, so yeah, that's what I grew up around. I didn't grow up around kitchens, to be honest. I lately discovered that I love cooking when I was actually living in Greece. I didn't have a job. I didn't speak the language. So I found some great chefs online and I started cooking. People started eating my food. So I'm like, maybe I'm good at this. <laughs> well, that's fantastic. Food, of course, is the universal language. So we're reviewing three products today. And yes. you mentioned you have an almond milk, you have an oat milk, and then there's also a pumpkin spice creamer. And these are all silk products. They are. Now, Absolutely. I don't want to I don't want to ask if you have any preconceived notions before you tried these products. I don't know if you regularly drink these products, but the whole idea is give us your first impressions. Do you want to start one one at a time and whichever Let's way you like it. to yes. start? OK, yes, I'll try. I'll go with the almond milk. I mean, nowadays people are really going towards um, non dairy products, which is great. I'm opening this for this first time. I don't usually I I am a fan of dairy. I use dairy. Um, I'm okay with anything that is not dairy. So I anything that I get my hands around if I am making pancakes or whatever anything for breakfast or my coffees mm. or my smoothies, I do use any type of uh, dairy or non dairy product. Uh, I'll go ahead and try the almond milk. Oh, it's so creamy. It looks great. This should be enough. So I'll go for the taste with this. Yeah. It's good. It's good. The texture is the texture is great. 
Uh, the taste is good. I think it would be good in smoothies as a substitute for actual milk. Um, I would use it in a uh, French toast mix for sure. Uh, there's a trick that I use. I have used uh, oat milk before to make French toast. Instead of eggs, you can use flax eggs, as uh, we call it, which is essentially flax, uh, flax seeds put into water. Yes. So, yeah. I'd say this one is good. Okay, so almond milk gets a good rating. Now, is this also not just for lactose intolerant people? Like, you would possibly drink this uh, just for the flavor alone, regardless of if you have a dairy issue, just because it's non-dairy. Absolutely, right? absolutely, yes. You don't have to uh, not have issues. You know, mm -hmm. you don't have to have any uh, intolerances to drink this milk, for sure. You can replace it in your daily use. Now, we see this on the supermarket shelves, and it is a shelf-stable product. Does it need refrigeration once you open it? Yes, absolutely. It needs refrigeration. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. If you have not opened it yet, sure, you can put it on your pantry. Once you have opened it, you have to put it in refrigeration for sure. Okay, so almond milk gets a good rating. Let's move on to the oat milk. Yes, sir. let's go with the oat milk. I mean, I do love the packaging already. It is my favorite. Uh, so let's see how it tastes. Okay. Difference in color? Yeah. Describe that color. It looked all almost um, sort of a beige or a tan. Uh, it when does. You it, it. it is a tan color. Um, yeah. yeah, definitely. It looks like almost a very light espresso if you're drinking it or uh, not an espresso. You put it in the milk. You know the color that the coffee gets when you add extra milk? Those, the kind of people that drink yeah. milk with a little really bit of coffee. Up. I do that yeah. myself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's that's the color that it has. It almost has the color of the box, actually. So let's give it a taste. Mm, much richer yeah. than the almond milk. It has kind of a nutty flavor. Um, this is great. I like this one. This is, is great. It like a, this is a great one. Does it taste sort of like a liquefied oatmeal? You said it has a nutty flavor. Does that it come actually to mind does. or something else? Yes, that's where my mind goes to. Absolutely. Yeah. It's it's great. I like this one. Um, I would definitely use it for coffee because I like the nuttiness that it has. I am a fan of espresso, so I do add just a pinch of milk. Mm -hmm. I think it would give a great taste to your coffee for sure. And definitely... Uh, I would use it in cereal too, actually. I would love to try that. That would be a great um, idea to use it on. Yeah, I see. Yeah, I totally sure. see that. I, I, I love I, the I, color. Yeah. I usually have smoothies in the morning for breakfast, but a lot of times I have cereal and I try to mix it up a little bit. So I might want to try that myself in both those applications. Yes, absolutely. I am, uh, yeah, smoothies okay. for, for breakfast for myself as well. I would try it in smoothies as well. Yeah, this is great. Uh, same thing with the almond milk. Once you open it, definitely refrigerate it. Until you don't, pantry will be fine. All right. And now the pumpkin spice. The pumpkin spice. It it's fall. Is... It's perfect timing for this product, right? It is. You know, I was going to say, I feel like it's always pumpkin spice season. I, I feel like I always see it anywhere, even if it's summertime. I yeah. see pumpkin spice somewhere and it always feels like it's already pumpkin spice. And you have that question, is it fall already? But yes, it is pumpkin spice season. Um, I am, I like pumpkin spice uh, in coffees as well. So this is pumpkin spice for coffee. It's almond, it's still almond milk. We'll give it a try for the first time. Cute little box. We say in the industry that we eat with the eyes first. So if the first impression is good, that always helps. Loving the colors of all of them. This is just a hint darker than the oat milk. It seems lighter in texture than both of um, the ones that we just tried. Mm. It smells absolutely great. Describe it's that so to us. Sweet. What does it smell like? 
it smells like pumpkin spice that's for sure yeah and, is it really uh, really rich deep aromas going on right it's now it's so rich it's so it's a strong yeah. aroma of the pumpkin spice mm -hmm. it already fills you up as soon as you smell it and I still have the taste. I took the sip and I still have the taste in my mouth of sugar and uh, pumpkin. I feel like I am um, eating pumpkin spice banana cake. Does that make sense? I usually use the- uh, That sounds wonderful. <laughs> right? That would be so great. I would, yeah. use, I would use this milk to actually, I know it says for coffee here, but I would use this milk to make a banana bread. I would love to see how that would taste. And definitely in my coffee as well, just to switch it up and feel the warmth of the fall that you have at home with the blanket, drinking some pumpkin spice. I would actually also drink this straight up, just a glass of milk, because uh, I do have a sweet tooth. So, but that's just me. But it's great. I'm going to go for another one. Yeah, this is wow. This gets a wow rating. So we got two great and a wow and this one's really giving you a sensory experience right it's not just it about is. the taste it's like before you even tasted it it's like the aromas were flying i mean that's what dining out in restaurants is all about it's about giving your guests an experience not just food and drink and and bringing it to life to the customer but when the product speaks for itself that's sort of how i'm getting the pumpkin spice do you see any other uses like you know, people's first thought are putting it in coffee, but I think you mentioned earlier, maybe a waffle batter, a pancake batter to give it that unique flavor, especially now. Do you see that happening or anything else? Absolutely. Absolutely. With all three products that I have right here, I would definitely, these are uh, definitely breakfast items for me or brunch items for sure. I would replace any uh, milk equivalent. And I will put this in my pancake batter and my waffle butter. And I'm a big fan of French toast. We really consume it at my house. Mm. So yes, in my French toast, I would replace it with either oat milk or almond milk from these two boxes right here. And like I said, I'm definitely going to give this a try today, the pumpkin spice and make a banana bread. I have a bunch of bananas uh, behind me in my kitchen. And I don't know, maybe make a coffee with a little bit of uh, almond milk. While I make my banana bread with pumpkin spice, I can make a small load of it. Yes, I would suggest this in baking for sure. You know, in the business, we call these hooks, but, you know, different things that set our restaurants apart from the competition and things that we can promote that capture the public's imagination are really wonderful. But I'm also seeing a potential use for restaurants that have bars and sell alcohol. I mean, you could put the pumpkin spice in dairy-based drinks like white russians you know you can create For your own sure. specialty drinks breakfast places of course can do smoothies i mean that's what we do in restaurants we create unique items that the competition doesn't have we feature them as special you know special items so yes. it sounds like we got two greats in a wow terrific yes, two greats in a wow for today before we finish, would you please hold up each product a little closer so we can see the packaging one at a time? Yes, absolutely. This is the oat milk that we just tried today. Oh, that is a nice box. Yeah. Great color, rich texture. Barista, it says on it, right? With it the says heart. barista, it like yes. The crafted so, coffee heart that you would get served, you know, in a coffee bar, restaurant type thing. That's beautiful. Absolutely. A barista mm -hmm. would make uh, wonders with that milk. Yeah. And we have the here. almond milk yeah. right here. Right, right. The lightest in color, again, rich texture. It was great. And then the pumpkin spice. This is the one that got a wow. Rich totally. flavor, rich taste, very sweet. Um, yeah, this is what we reviewed today. Well, Ellie, we can't thank you enough. That was our show, Influencer Fridays. Don't miss them each and every Friday. I'm Roger. Thank your host, you, Roger. We'll see you next time. Thanks again, Ellie. Bye. And thanks to Silk. Thank you to Silk.